two things that I really like, disc golf and video games. So let's combine those two. There are a lot of disc golf video games out there, so I thought it would be fun to try them out and give you guys more of an insight into those games. Winter is coming, and for anybody who can't really keep playing year-round, then this might just be the video for you guys. I'm searching for a way to keep enjoying the sport that we all know and love, just on a different level. These games are all over the place, from paid to play to free iPhone games, it's going to be fun. Playing on PC, I have access to the more paid to play games, so over the next few videos about video games, we're going to be focusing on some of those. I've seen some really good and maybe some not so good games, so this is for sure going to be a lot of fun. Let's hop right into it. We've got two games we're going to be looking at. One that is probably pretty unknown and maybe the most famous disc golf game that has been created so far. I went and played these games. Now it's time for me to tell you what I think about them. Just like in disc golf, when you play a new course, U-Disc will ask you to rate the course. We're going to be doing the same thing with these games. Enjoy the dumb and crazy things that happened along the way. Here we go into our first game. The first game we're going to look at is Ultimate Disc Golf, found on Steam. Released back in January of 2020, this game is still technically in early access. Developed by Tree Industries, it's got a pretty sweet intro video, let's check it out. Pretty epic, not gonna lie, I've got high hopes. So I got the game booted up and I did what everybody does when they have this option. I spent 45 minutes creating my character. Woo! And we'll go, oh, oh, I shrink with age. Oh, that's hilarious. Look at the definition on the pant legs, whoa. Meet RM, a stylish disc golfer who's bald and has a great beard, just like me. A lot of different settings, super specific. Some of them kind of funny, like when adjusting the muscles, all it really does is make your feet look swollen. Certainly a unique attribute. Once I got my character figured out, it was time to actually learn the game, so I headed to the driving range to try out some shots. <laughs> Yay! Yeet! Oh, that was, um, not a good shot. I didn't learn much. I did figure out though that I could use a controller and that was much, much easier. Time to head into an actual round of disc golf and see what my stylish gentleman could do out on the course. What I quickly realized was that they developed the game so you could run around. After throwing a shot, you could walk or run your way to the next shot. After a while, I figured out by just clicking one button that you could teleport to the next shot. So the start of my round began. I did what everybody else would do in my position. I immediately jumped into the water. Whoa. Yep, this is realistic. How do I get out of the water? Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, I got out of it. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. There's literally no way. Oh, we'll just keep going underwater. I'm surprised I'm not seeing any discs down here. Oh, I'm not getting up that. Okay, I have to restart. So I got stuck and had to restart, and the second chance didn't go much better. The mechanics of the game take a while to figure out. My frustration quickly set in, so I decided to jump around like an idiot for quite some time. Ah, I'm just trying to get the disc in the... Ah! Screw it. <laughs> I decided that what I needed was to go for a nice long run, and I did that. Over and over again, I played like three holes, actually playing the game how it's set up to be. My goal, just get one par. That's all I wanted. Had my chance on the first hole. Oh, I missed it. And again on the next hole. Oh. Missed it. And it was downhill from there. I could not figure out how to play this game. But you know what? Just like in real disc golf, sometimes the course just doesn't set up for you. So I decided another change in scenery was in order. This new course was perfect, and short. Only took one hole for me to finally get my first par. From there, I sucked. I mean, this game is hard. The mechanics are tricky, but some of the physics just don't make sense. Like, I threw a mid-range on hole 2 maybe twice the distance of the hole, and then I played to the wrong basket. Finally figuring out which basket I need to play to, and then this happened. Oh! Is that my basket? I don't even know which basket I'm throwing to. Just let me tap in. 
Yeah, I've seen a disc fall like that before. I decided to try for a birdie. That was a dumb idea. Two holes later, I eyed up this beautiful par 3 little downhill sidearm, and well, I threw it so good it went off the map. Literally. That was the final straw. Game over for me. Rating out of 5 stars, 2.5. With me getting stuck in the water and my disc being dropped into eternity, there's some things that really need to be fixed. But I had fun. I've actually played Disc Golf Valid before, and it's pretty fun. It's really the only Disc Golf video game I had played before Ultimate Disc Golf. Let's just say I like this game much, much better. Developed by the team of Latitude64, the game is pretty sweet. You get to use discs that you actually can use in real life. It's not like the last game where you see your person throw. Disc Golf Valley just has a disc in front of you. You pull back and throw. Super simple, super clean. The mechanics of the game are pretty fun. I just have one problem, and that's putting. I'm not very good at it. But the driving of the game is really cool. The graphics are clean. The courses are super sweet. One awesome attribute from Disc Valley is that you can play a couple courses from around the world, like Emporia Country Club, where Worlds was at this year, to The Beast in Nokia, Finland, where the European Open is held. So I hopped into a game and played a full round at The Beast. Here's how it went. Boing. Yeah, probably should have looked. Didn't see that. Perfect. Sponsored by Udisc. Well, that looks really good. Oh, that's in bounds. How? What? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. That is in bounds. My disc is in bounds. See? Right there. In bounds. That better fight back. What, is that out of bounds too? Hmm? We'll just throw this really hard. See what happens. Oh, oh that worked. Oop. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Out of bounds. Bunker rules. Oh, dang. Come on. Come on. Okay, I really suck. I think I made it. Nope. I did not make it. And some more. Nope. Bounce. Nope. Let's, let's go forehand. Maybe that's th the key. Nope. That was not the key. Bounce. Nope. There we go. Nope. Come on, hit it. Hit it. Nope. That's got to stick, right? Finally. Oh, turnover shot. Oh, 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 Perfect. Wing. After all of that, finally getting to a rating that I feel is very well deserved. This game is well-rounded, the graphics are good, the game flow is good, it's challenging but not frustrating. It's a great game by a great company. 4.8 for my official rating, what do you guys rate it? Thanks for watching guys, plenty of fun and weird disc golf games out there, so look out in the future for more videos just like this. Make sure to like and subscribe and check out my channel, more videos on there that you might like. Alright, we'll see you next time, cheers.